Hi everyone, and welcome back to Timberborn. Today we have update 5. This is the release, uh, the latest release that came out um, just recently. Uh, we're not going to mess around, we're going to get straight into a new game. And we'll talk about some of the changes that happened um, as we go. Um, the Iron Teeth are relatively nice now, um, with some of the changes that happened uh, bringing in Bad Water, but we are going to stick with our favourite folk tales. Now, we've got a couple of maps here that are beginner-friendly. I don't think we want any of those. I was trying out making a couple of maps down here. Actually, I want to play uh, Meander. This is the map that we're going to um, play this series on. It has a bad water source in the middle. That's a new feature in this update. And then the water, like the normal water source at the end of the river. We're just going to play a normal difficulty. We want to have fun. We don't want it to be too hard. Let's get into it. All right, so we're here to name our settlement. We are going to call this one, just like last time, YouTube Landia. Because I'm not very good with names. Well, we can't do that. Um, YouTube Landia 2. Um, and then we're going to immediately pause. Just so that we can have a look around the map. Um, so what do we have here? We have a, a, a water source at the top of the river. Um, it meanders down the middle. And then it comes out uh, down this side. We also have just the one bad water source up the mountain uh, up here. So what bad water does is, is it contaminates the, the fresh water. Um, so you can see it's nice and blue up here. Um, all nice, but after the bad water uh, source, you can see it just becomes yuck and yuck and yuck and more yuck all the way down here. So bad water is a new thing to play around and it hurts our colony. Um, we'll see how that affects it um, as we go, but for now it's just something we'll need to be aware of. Um, it acts kind of like water, but it's it's not water. Now the other thing we'll also need to be aware of is that eventually these water sources will turn against us. When that happens, um, we will uh, talk about it then, but we just need to be aware of it that it's coming up. Uh, so let's get our building so that we can get our little colony started here. Maybe we'll put a road out like this. Uh, maybe one down here as well, because we're going to want some timber to start. Let's put two lumberjack flags in here. We'll also need to mark some trees to be cut down. Let's say cut down all of these. We also want some food. So we're going to put a gatherer's flag over here. Just the one for now. And they will pick up these berries. Now we also need something for our beavers to drink. That's going to be important. So in here in water, we're going to put down some water pumps. Maybe, maybe just two for now. And they'll need somewhere to store that water. So let's put in a little small tank here. Maybe we'll put in a couple of them. Just so that we have places to store water. We'll also need somewhere to store our timber. So, it'd be nice to put a large pile in here. But there's a tree in the way. So we're going to need to wait for our um, loggers to come and cut this down before we're able to actually put our storage in here. So this is everything, so let's press play and let's get this going a bit faster. We're also going to have more people turned into workers. So these guys here, um, another change that happened is that they now actually chew the trees to cut them down. I'll just pause that there because they've cut this one down. So we can put this storage facility in now. Um, and press play again. So you can see them actually gnawing at the tree rather than just standing beside it before and then it eventually falls over. That's another uh, small tweak that um, just to help the game look a little bit nicer. So we've got some of our um, beavers over here. Uh, let's slow this down a little bit. Uh, creating water for us now. Water is very important. This is a high priority job. 
Just as is collecting berries. We always need people collecting berries. Uh, oops. So we want those um, as high as they can go. Uh, cutting timber important, but not as important as having food and water. Because without those, we... Um, our colony just dies. Um, so let's get this sped up a little bit again. Now I think, just to help us out at the start, we are going to um, put in a couple more lumberjack flags. Just so that our beavers work a little bit, we'll go even faster through the night, just so our, le our beavers can cut a little bit more timber. We don't have many beavers um, though, so we have to be careful. Now, workers are important, but they're not as important as some of the other jobs. So you'll see here we've got three um, job vacancies. So we're actually going to turn down our number of workers whilst we don't need quite so many. Oh, they both both fill up with water. Uh, we need to select what good we want on our storage here. I forgot to do that before. So let's set all of these to water. And we'll have to do the same with this guy. Set him to lumber. Okay, and that's going to help us to uh, get moving. Now, one thing we will need to do is we will need... A dam at some point. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to um, survive, like keep our plants alive during the um, droughts that come. So we're going to need to do that, which is going to mean we need to get down, down here into the riverbed, maybe over here. I'm not sure. Um, that needs some stairs doesn't look like there's any stairs around here. We're kind of just like stuck on this level. Well, there's some stairs there. And the stairs over here. They don't really help us that much. Um, the way we get stairs is if we come into paths and structures here. You'll see that they're locked behind science. So we better get some inventor's huts in. Uh, let's put in two. And these are a little bit important, but not super duper important. So we'll kind of just just leave them there as it is. Um, we can see up here we've got two beavers that don't have jobs. They're going to be our two inventors. Um, you'll also see all of our beavers are homeless. Um, we better give them somewhere to live even if it's not a, a nice somewhere somewhere is better than nowhere so all we have to begin with is this lodge and another change i'll just pause for a second that came with update five is that we can now flip the building left and right so there aren't dedicated buildings uh, we can just flip them as we choose So let's put in some houses here. Maybe that many. Oh, better put a path around here. Maybe a path up there. We can see here now our storage starting to get some, some work in here. Now while we're waiting for our inventor's huts to get built, we may as well use those workers to build things. So they're going to go off and and do that. And these lumberjack flags over here, they're almost out of timber. As are these two. They've, they've almost cut all of this down. So we're going to need to come over to this area over here. So let's build a, a path out here. Let's put in a couple more lumberjack flags. Let's say... Yes, might cut these trees down. Might actually clear this area now, since they've done all of that. 
And what we'll do is delete these old lumberjack flags. They're no use to us anymore. But we'll also need some storage over here. So let's put in another another bit of storage. And we're gonna say you store logs. We've gone back to two beavers not working. Let's put them all as, in as our builders. Is this guy getting berries? What's he doing? I don't know what he's doing. Well, here we go. Look at this. They're all happy because they've all got somewhere to live. That's nice. Okay, so we've got our two new uh, lumberjack flags. The old lumberjack flags we're going to demolish now. So they come and work over here, close to where we need them. And now we're kind of... We've kind of started out okay. We are, however, not having a lot of food. We've got a fair bit of water stored up, not a lot of food. We'd like to get some more food, but there's nowhere around here for us to to get any. Uh, so that means we're going to have to uh, grow some ourselves. So in food, we've got an efficient farmhouse. So let's put that... Where should we put it? Maybe here for now we'll do. And what that lets us do is it lets us grow our own crops. Uh, carrots are the most basic food so we're going to grow some carrots in amongst these berries here so they'll come and build uh, this and we tell, tell them to prioritize carrots now food is also a very important job so this is top priority but where did it take those workers from well we still need lumberjacks so let's put those as a slightly higher priority and we still need some builders, but maybe not four. Let's go back to two. Uh, if you've been paying attention, we no longer have 12 total beavers, we have 15. So we've had another three kits be born. So they will help us to increase our population, let us do more jobs, and so on. You'll also notice 79 science. That means we can now buy these stairs. But you'll see, um, if we look at it, one log, four planks. We don't have any planks. Planks come from the lumber mill, which needs power. So how can we do that? Well, we don't really have any access to water, except over here. So maybe... If we put this here... Let's put it down and pause it. And then we need some power. So we've got this power wheel. And a water wheel. So we can put a water wheel... ...in here as well, that we can use to power our... ...um... ...plank factory. It also needs a path back to rest of the village okay so let's press play again and our builders will come and build the water wheel let's actually put this on a slightly higher build priority and then we can unpause this so that they'll come and build it later and that will let us start growing our uh, building planks we need somewhere to store the planks so let's put in another storage here Let's put it at the top and say store planks. So they'll come and do this. I don't think we want that bit of road, at least not yet. Now you might have just seen um, some beavers complaining about being hungry. It's because we've got no water. Here we go, let's pause. He's hungry. He's got a while until he starves, but his working speed 50% lower. Our carrots are on their way to growing. They're not there yet. 
but they're on their way. And we need to get a dam in here somewhere so that we've got some water stored up. So let's get all this prepared, even if we can't quite build it yet. So in landscaping, we've got a dam. Let's build it across here. That will do. But to get out here, we'll need stairs from this first step down. So let's unlock the stairs for 70 science. And then we'll put a path all the way down here. So once we start making some planks, they'll be able to come and build these stairs. And then once they can build the stairs, they can finish building the rest of their dam. That's going to be nice. Now, this farm over here, it also reaches these areas over here. We can see we've got a lot of hungry beavers now. Because we, we, we didn't have many berries to start with. We just got to hope that... Oh, this is built now. That's nice. Now we just need the lumber mill to be built. It's not producing a lot of power though, which is a, a bit annoying. Some is better than none though. Let's slow this down. We want to check in on our carrots. They're getting close. Let's say prioritize harvesting. I don't know how long how long this many carrots will last. But we also need some, some way to get more timber. And that's where the forester comes in. So it lets us plant uh, new trees, essentially. Maybe we can put the forester, because it covers quite a large area uh, in here. And under plant trees. Um, birch trees grow up, grow up really quickly, but don't give you many uh, much timber. Uh, only one. Whereas oak trees take a long time to grow, but give you a lot of timber. They're far more efficient, but they're a lot slower to start. So we're going to have a little bit of both. We're going to have a, a patch of oak trees. Some of these middle ones, pine trees. And then some oak trees over here at the edge. So that will... Uh, give us a way to have some sustainable uh, timber. Assuming that our beavers don't starve. I mean, they're only halfway there. We could probably use a bit of this space for, for carrots as well. Maybe we'll put some uh, carrots here. Can we, can we fit a couple more here? We'll find out what fits there. But you can see how slow some of our beavers are moving now. That they... They're, they're all just hungry. At least they have some water. If we come down here and uh, look at this, it's... It's mostly there. Just need a little bit more to actually come and build it. And then... Oh, look at them go. Just woken up and straight on to the job. Uh, then we can come and build our forester, which needs logs and planks. And then after that, I don't know what we're going to do. Now this guy here, he, he gets berries. He's currently doing nothing because there's no berries grown. So let's just pause him for now. He's not really doing much for us. And you can go and work at another job somewhere. Now you'll see all of these carrots have, are ready for harvesting. And we can also see here which of these weren't able to be planted because the ground wasn't fertile enough. We need somewhere to put the carrots though. So let's come back into storage. And say, let's store carrots in here. So, we're not going to have a lot of food left over now. But we should have some. And that should be enough to stop our beavers from starving. Like, let's look at this guy who just went there. He's still pretty hungry.
but he's surviving. And we've got a guy down here making planks. Not very efficiently, but he is making planks. And the best thing about him making planks is that we can make these stairs. Let's put them on super high priority. Because we want this dam built. Because so once this dam is built, we'll also be able to pick some of these berries. Just for a little bit more food. It's particularly important at the moment when we don't have much food. And it also seems like we don't have many logs left. Okay, so, uh, again, I'm just going to pause it. Another new feature, that big alarm. It shows up right in the middle of the screen so that you know, without a doubt, the drought is coming. It's going to be here very, very soon. Uh, let's fill in a couple of these gaps that were missed. And these ones that were missed... So in a drought, we have no bad water source and no normal water source, which means our power down here is actually going to stop. That would be a little frustrating, but it's not too bad. Okay, where are our planks? What's this guy doing down here? Did we not make any planks today? This is still on one. Well, it's because he doesn't have much uh, timber. You'll see his hunger much lower. And overall, we have many fewer hungry beavers. We don't have many carrots planted, but we've got some, and some is enough. You'll also see we've got some berries start to grow again. So once we get a couple more planks, here we go, here's number three. Uh, I think we're just going to have to turn this back on. We can actually control where these beavers get taken from. So let's turn the priority of the scientists down a little bit. Now I just noticed we have two spare beavers. I didn't realize that. So with two spare beavers, one of them will eventually go in here. Replant dead trees not marked for cutting. Interesting. So that area is still marked for cutting down. That's good. That one will go in here and one will be left over. Oh, we just had a guy die of old age. I guess that's where our old mate's going to go. Look how slow this is going. But the stairs, now done. So we're going to be able to build these dam pieces pretty quickly now. Assuming that we have the logs on hand. Which we kind of don't. So, we're in a little bit of a catch-22 here. The drought's just about to hit us. We don't... Here it is. Uh, we can pause this now because the water's going to dry up. We didn't get our dam built, which is annoying, so most of our stuff here is going to die. Dies in 1.9 days, and our drought is 2.7 days long. So this is a problem. We don't have any timber to do anything. We don't have access to any timber. None of these are going to grow. Our food supply is okay. So we might survive the drought. 
but at what cost? Now what can we do to just get a little bit of timber? Because that is... That's only one tile high there. So we can say, demolish this. This will give them some logs to pick up. Only three though. How far are these grown? This is almost completely grown. This is a little bit away. This will give us another two logs, which would make... F oh, they've used those ones already over here somewhere. All right. So we're going to need to repurpose some of these logs. Let's just pause for a second. So let's say... Demolish that one, since we've lost the dam anyway. Now they can come and get these logs. And with those logs, we're going to use them to climb up here to get a couple of these logs. So let's put some stairs there. And come around like this. Now, we won't get the planks for this though, until we get some water. Because a power wheel takes 40 logs. So it's one thing that we'll be able to do to at least get us a little bit of timber. But we do need to make it through the drought. Only one day left. Once we get over here, we'll have quite a few berries and some some more timber, which will be helpful. At least until our guy here. Let's pause this, because we don't want them putting logs into here. Which I think they might have gone and done. We've got seven logs. I don't know where they are, but we've got seven. Maybe in here. And we want them to put them over here, through this guy. We look at a small log storage down here. I don't think that's worth it. Okay, so the drought's nearly over. Our water's out. Our food is pretty much out. Let's have these back prioritized on planting. Let's turn these two back on with P. And in the morning... We can change this, make it shorter or something. Interesting. Uh, in the morning, people will come and get these jobs. But we do have a lot of science now. A lot of science that we can't really do much with because we've got no materials. So what else do we have in here that we could use fairly quickly. So grills are excellent with potatoes, but potato takes a bit longer to grow. So six days instead of four. You only produce one and not three. But one potato with some logs that we don't have produces four grilled potatoes, which the beavers absolutely love. Oh, we can, I accidentally paused. Okay, we'll come down here, we'll unpause this again, because we want it to work. Uh, the drought's over, so we're going to get some water back, which means we're going to be able to pump some water from here. Mm, Our mic. beavers, not thirsty yet, but they will be soon. Uh, and this started to flow. can see starting to get some thirsty beavers but our water pumpers straight back on the job didn't even question it and our farmers back planting carrots uh, this guy hopefully 
He's gonna go and um, harvest these berries. So we've got power supply now. That's excellent. Now we can see these mingling again. It's kind of cool how they do that. Now we want to make some planks. Just enough to get up here. Then once we get up here, let's put down a lumberjack flag. And say this is... Oh, it's already built. They built it before we can even get to it. But it, for the moment, it's a top priority job. Um, cut these trees down. That's your that's your number one job. And you, we don't want any more planks for the time being. But we do want to come back and finish building this dam. Well, they've already cut this tree down. They did that quick. Uh, this we can unpause again now as well. That will want some planks. I think we want this... We don't want to build this until we get our forester built. Which, at least for the time being, is going to be six more planks. Hopefully, this guy up here can cut down enough trees that lets us get enough timber to make enough planks to build this. Oh no, we've got an injured beaver over here. I can't... He's hurt his poor head. Now, we could help him with a medical bed. Unfortunately, we haven't got the uh, materials for a medical bed. We can unlock it though, and we can we can even put it down for him. Unfortunately, we can't build it. We've got we've got to prioritize other things at the moment. Now this has all the materials it needs. Now we can absolutely come over here and pause this. This guy up here, thanks for your time, but your job is done. And these stairs here, we can also destroy. We don't need those anymore. But we're not we're not planting those carrots again? Fair enough. Let's just clear them out then. Old berry mate. He's um doing as good as he can. We're in a little bit of a food crisis again can unpause this now. We've got our forester. We're going to say prioritize birch because they grow the fastest. Oh look, we've got two little holes there with some oak. Oak, oak, oak. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now, it would also be nice if we can get over here. Now, we can't climb down into the water, because that's going to hurt our beavers. We're going to need to build a platform across. Um, we can do that either with actual platforms or with levees. The levees are 12 logs. These are only... the equivalent to six logs, but four of them are planks. That's going to take a little bit longer to get to. Oh, look at this, we got some planks in there. No logs, though. I guess we just got to wait a while for these to grow up. Because we're still... Everyone's hungry again. Look, the carrots are here. Calm down. So, we've got to, um... We've got to wait a little while to uh, get some more timber built up. So, I'll be back shortly with, um... With a bit more timber. Okay, so a brief update. We are... Uh, our birch tree is 
on their way to be growing. Some of them now fully grown. We've got a drought in one day, which is not great. Um, our water storage is not full. Also not great. Um, we have a little bit of food now, which is good. But we're still kind of in a bit of a tough situation. So we're going to need some more water. So let's put these in here and mark them as water tanks. Now they are a lower priority than getting this built. Because if we can get this built, we'll have a little bit of water just still sitting around. Our water stockpile has filled back up though to its max, which is good. Uh, you'll see that we've got most of our trees here planted. We do need to, pretty soon though, be able to maybe use some of this area for something. And that's going to require us unlocking um, the fluid dump, which we can afford, and as well, probably levees. Okay, so another drought is here. Our water is going to dry up. Our power down here is going to dry up, but we're not using it anyway. So let's pause these guys with a P. Now, this is a four-day drought. Last time was only a three-day drought. So we're going to see how we go uh, this time. Our carrots, definitely not going to make it. But if we prioritize harvesting... We just might get them all harvested in time. Now these are going to stop growing. Oh, look, it's so close to being done. Uh, stop growing while there's no water. There's nothing we can do about that. So, just a little bit of an update. I'll be back again in a while. Um, when we actually do have some more timber. And we can do something. Okay, it's taken a little while, but we finally have our dam built. Now, we've got a little bit of um, food, a little bit of water. We want a lot of both of those. Um, so over here, let's put a path here and a path here. I'm going to put some storage in the middle, a medium warehouse. Uh, this is going to store berries for us. Um, we want berries. Here they are. Now, in terms of this, we're going to put a gatherer's flag in the middle right here and say prioritize berries. And that's also an important job. We want to cut down this timber down here as well. So let's go with a lumberjack flag down here. Where do we want it? Down here exactly. There will do. We're going to say all of these trees are for cutting down. Because we started getting some of our pine grow. And that's what let us finish, finish this side over here. Which is really, really nice. So that means that we now have a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit of timber. With a little bit of timber, we can come over here and start reconfiguring uh, this side of the river. I wonder if we could even do more over here. Because this is a narrow spot across here. We won't go too, too crazy just yet, but it's a thought. We want to get this usable up here. So let's come into levees and say buy this. Uh, I'm just going to pause for the time being. So in the past, in update 4, we could have put a one tile um, square here. And it would have irrigated a big circle around it. Uh, that doesn't work anymore. But 
we can put, if we have a three by three area, which is a little bit harder to find, then that would do a similar thing. So it may be if we go, if we do this maybe, and then put a water dump in here, this will irrigate some of the area around it. So let's put a road over here. Let's put a road here. Put some stairs up. And then we want a fluid dump. On top. There we go. Let's press play. And they can come and build that. And that will irrigate more of this area. This, however, it will need water to work. So we better... Uh, storage. Put some water storage nearby. Uh, accept water. Now this obtain, that will use haulers to move water from some of the storage locations to others. We don't have haulers yet, so we better put some in. So let's put in a hauling post right here near our uh, home, home depot. It needed some planks. Let's turn the number of workers up, but we're also going to put them low priority. You need some planks, so let's turn this guy back on. Look at them, they've, they've started getting to work on this. We've still got old mate hurt. We can unpause the medical bed now. We're happy to um, to let him get healed. We were happy before, we just couldn't afford it. Look at you go. I mean, you're not making many uh, planks, but you make some. And what have these guys got? Broken teeth. So we're going to have to, again, come into well-being and put a teeth grindstone. Maybe we'll put it over here, near where they're cutting timber. Um, we'll make it a high priority so that it gets done quickly. We don't want our, our beavers hurt. But look at all these berries. Look at all this food we've got now. We've got a fair bit of water as well. It's awesome. We do need to manage this a little bit better. We'll do that in the next episode. But for now, we had a, a bit of a precarious start. Ran out of food a few times, ran out of water a few times, ran out of timber. I was just thinking, can we do this a little bit smarter? And get access to this timber up here as well. I think we possibly can. If we, if we don't put that there. We don't put the stairs here. Or the water dump there. If we put them maybe going up this way. Put the fluid dump up the top here like this we have a path going like this it's a few more planks to get it working but it will mean that we can get up the top up here to harvest this timber as well okay so another drought we're less concerned this time because we've got a little bit of water stored up. I mean, it's not a lot of water, but a little bit is better than none. Uh, we can put a small tank here and say accept water. And we're going to put a lumberjack flag up here. And we'll say to cut down these trees. So that will all happen eventually. We just gotta, gotta let it get there.
We've got our hauling post built now. So you'll see we've got 12 uh, vacant jobs. Uh, so uh, we have this set up as super low priority so that haulers are always the last ones to get filled. So this means that there are two jobs in our town somewhere that we don't have workers for. Now let's see if we can find where they are. It's both of our scientists. We're at 16 beavers. We've got capacity for 18. But we'll need to ask ourselves, do we want any more? I think we want to get back up to 18. And then we'll, we'll reconsider. Because we don't want to go too hard too fast. Or otherwise we just get stuck. Now these berries over here. Yeah, this can reach all of those. That's good. Just wanted to make sure. Um, these berries over here, we're probably not going to use them anymore. So if we come in and say, we don't want these berries, our builders will eventually come and pull them up. Uh, that one, they're there, here, here, here. I think that's most of them, but they'll come and pull them up. They need to be close enough though, so we better put a road over there so they can reach. I'm not doing it for no reason, we're doing it so that we can put more carrots in here. Not enough water for him to run. We just need a little bit more planks. Oh, and then ten more for up there. A lot more planks. But we've got some timber now. So we can see what's happening here. The water is going down the main channel and not powering our water wheel. Which makes sense. We're just going to have to direct it over this way. The way we're going to do that without using too many materials once once this calms down a little bit there we go I was gonna say we can put some steps down into the water but we can't because we don't have any planks to do that they've all gone over here to these stairs but we do have some logs so it's possibly worthwhile spending them to build a power wheel. Let's say, come and build this. It's most important. We've also got to say, plant up these carrots. And it looks like there were some of these that they couldn't quite reach. And are a bit too far from the road. So we'll, we'll have to worry about those another time. But for now, we've been able to get way more carrots in here. And on this side of the river, we could also do more farming. This guy's just sitting on his butt. His berry farm is... his storage is full. Uh, what's this got? Needs four planks as well. Okay. I guess we're going to see this built and see this top area irrigated in the next episode. Uh, we don't want that road there because this is going to do it for uh, this one. We've been able to make a start. We've got a little bit of a colony here. It's um, had a few rough patches, but it's, it's still going reasonably well. Uh, next time when we come back, we'll see the end of this drought out. Which, now we've got some water stored up, we make it not too bad. Um, at least our beavers won't drown, and all of our crops won't die. 
and all of our plants won't die. These last forever. But we should get this irrigated up here, which will be nice. Really, really nice. And then we can look at expanding more into this area over here. As so the bad water comes down here, if we could get, like, a double dam across there, somehow, like two, two levels high, like one down here and then a next one of a dam, we'd have all of this area here, all of this area here would be underwater, there'd be so much underwater, we wouldn't know what to do with all of the water. But that will be something for us to look at and see if we can pull off in the next episode. Uh, if you have enjoyed this episode, do consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It does help out a lot. Otherwise, I'll catch you all next time. Thanks everyone. Bye for now.